Hey guys, today we're gonna draw Sven. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you're super excited. You got a marker and some paper and you're gonna follow along with me. Now, if I ever go too fast, you can always pause the video if you need extra time. Now, before we start, I wanna ask you a favor. If you could, click the like button on this video and also leave a comment below. That always helps us out. I love drawing on YouTube and I love sharing our lessons with you. And when you do that, when you leave a like on our video, it helps us out a ton. Now let's start by drawing Sven's nose right in the middle of our paper. And we're gonna draw it right here. And we're gonna draw it really big. So we're gonna start by drawing an oval. There we go. And then inside of this, we're gonna draw a smile. And we're gonna draw it down at the bottom. And we wanna draw him really happy. Next, let's draw his nostrils. And we're gonna draw two raindrop shapes. There's one, and then we're gonna draw another raindrop shape on the other side. Now we got our little reindeer nostrils. <laughs> now we can draw his eyes. We're gonna draw two circles, one on each side, and we're gonna start right here, and they're gonna to touch his nose right above his nostril. And I'm gonna draw him really big too. There we go, there's one eye, and then we're gonna draw the other eye, and we want it to be about the same size. So start here, come around, and then make sure the bottom touches. Now on the top right, let's draw a smaller circle. This is for the light reflecting in his eyes. I always love adding this, these little details in their eyes because then it makes them look really friendly. Now inside of this, we're gonna draw his pupil. So we're gonna draw another circle, but it's behind the, the, the little circle that's up at the top. So we're really just drawing a C shape. And then we could do that same C over here and the line follows the outside circle, the very first circle we drew. Now on the bottom left, let's draw a smaller circle. This is for another reflection, a smaller one. And then we can color in his pupil, that's the middle circle, and leave everything else white. Next, we're gonna draw the shape of his head. We'll start right here, right next to his eye, and we're gonna draw a J, comes down and connects to his nose. Kind of a J shape, it doesn't really hook back up. This is for his cheek. And then we're gonna repeat that same shape over here. Oh, now he's starting to look really cool. Now let's draw the top of his head and we're gonna draw a zigzag line because he has messy hair. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw little zigzags that come over the top and then connect to the right side. <laughs> now let's draw his eyebrows and he has really thick eyebrows. So let's draw one curve that goes over his eyes on both sides. And then let's repeat that so it's a lot thicker. So we can draw another line right below it and thicken up his eyebrow. Now there's little patches that go around his eye. So we're going to continue his eyebrow down and connect to his nose. I'll do the same thing on the right side. And then down here, let's also draw another line that continues and connects to his cheek. And then we'll do the same thing over here. All right, now let's draw his ears hanging down. Now we're gonna draw a curve that starts on the top of his head. It's gonna curve down, and then it's gonna curve back up and then right here at the end, we're gonna finish the bottom of his ear, curve around and back into his head. Okay, now let's draw his left ear and we'll do the same steps. So a little curve down and then a straight line out and then curve around back into his cheek. Now we can draw the inside of his ear. So we'll draw another curve right next to the outside. And then we're gonna curve back and then before we touch his head, we're gonna add a little zigzag for the hair in his ear. And then we can do that same thing over here. So we'll draw that same little curve that matches the bottom. And sometimes I like to turn my paper and that makes it easier to draw. And then we can draw a line back and then don't connect it. We wanna add that little zigzag for the hair inside of his ear. Okay, now our Sven's missing his antlers and we drew his head really close to the top of our paper. So we're gonna draw his antlers really small. Maybe this is our baby version of Sven. If you have more room, you could draw his antlers really big. 
So we're going to draw a curve that comes out on both sides. Then we're going to draw a curve back down. And then right here, we're going to draw two more little upside down U's. And then we'll connect it into his head. And we'll do that same thing over here. And then if you want, we can add, let's add another little U sticking out to the side for another antler. <laughs> we got really small antlers, so this is definitely our baby Sven. But if you want, you could actually do this lesson again and draw them like this so that you have more room at the top. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to draw his body next. Now, on his chest, he has a lot of fur. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to draw a fun zigzag line. It's going to look like a beard. We're going to draw a zigzag line that comes down to a little point, And then we're going to come back up. <laughs> looks like Santa Claus. He's got a big beard. Now, this is just the fur on his chest. So next, we can draw his legs, his front legs. We'll draw two lines, one that comes down on each side. And then we're gonna draw the inside of his leg. So we're gonna draw another line that matches that outside line. Next, let's draw his feet. We'll draw a U shape that comes around, connects both sides. And we'll do the same thing over here. Now let's draw the bottom of his body. So draw a line that connects in between his feet. Okay, now we need to draw his back legs and we're gonna draw him sitting down. So we'll draw an upside down U sticking out to the side. You can do that same line over here. And this is for his knees. Then let's draw his feet. So we'll draw a sideways U or a backward C. And then we'll draw a C over here that connects to his front foot. Now he has some fur texture on his body. So we're gonna draw more zigzag lines. Let's draw one right here, halfway down his leg, his front legs. And then let's continue that over on his back legs. And then let's draw more zigzags down around his ankles. And you don't have to make these lines look exactly like mine. I'm just making them look natural like fur. There we go. Now he has two big toes. So right in the middle, let's draw a curve on his foot to, to separate his two toes. And then let's do that on his back feet also. Now remember, if I ever went too fast, you can always pause the video. And we did it, we finished Sven. He turned out awesome. Now he's gonna look so much better once we color him. This part I'm gonna fast forward, but you can pause the video at the end to match the same color. All right, now he looks so much cooler all colored in. I hope you guys are gonna finish your drawings too by adding color and a little bit of shading. The shading makes him look 3D, but you can leave this off to keep the lesson a little easier. All right, now I said we were gonna do something fun at the end. I have this cool pop toy of Sven. He looks just like the one we drew, doesn't he? A little different. He's got the big antlers. Now you could draw him like this if you wanted to, but we wanna give him away. So ask your parents to leave a comment below this video and tell us what character we should draw next. It could be from Frozen or any Disney movie. And then tomorrow morning, I'll announce the winner in the comments below. If you had fun following along with us in this drawing lesson, and also want to get notified when we do new giveaways, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.